Iran's defense ministry says the country has long-term plans to develop satellite launch vehicles capable of putting cargoes weighing up to 15 tons into orbit. The ministry's space division spokesman Ahmed Hosseini Mounds made the announcement on Tuesday, days after Iran successfully launched three homegrown satellites into orbit using the domestically made Simurgh Phoenix satellite carrier. Hosseini Mounds said that Iran's space activities are completely scientific and technological and that the country will not wait for anyone's permission to continue its activities. Based on our roadmap we will have the Sarer satellite launch vehicle, which will put a cargo weighing one and a half tons into orbits close to the Earth's surface he added. Sarah can launch six or seven satellites into low-altitude orbits or a satellite into an orbit 36,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. In the more distant future, we will have Sorish family satellite carriers that will place cargoes from 6 to 15 tons into space. For the first time on Monday, Simurgh simultaneously put the MADA research satellite, as well as the Kihan 2 and Hadaf 1 nanosatellites into orbit. Despite sanctions imposed by Western countries in recent years, Iran has managed to take giant strides in the civilian space program. It is among the world's top 10 countries capable of developing and launching satellites. Last week, the Aerospace Force of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, launched the Saraya satellite into orbit using the Keem 100 satellite carrier. In 28 January, Iran has successfully put three homegrown satellites into orbit, with a minimum altitude of 450 km and a maximum of 1,100 km above the Earth's surface. MATA, Kihan-2 and Hadaf-1 satellites were launched from Imam Khomeini Space Launch Terminal in Semnan Province on Sunday by the Simurgh Phoenix Satellite Launch Vehicle, which is manufactured by the Iranian Defense Ministry. MATA is a research satellite designed, manufactured, assembled and tested at the Iranian Space Research Center. Weighing 32 kilograms, it is a lightweight satellite developed to test advanced satellite subsystems. MATA's main task is to assess the performance of the Simurgh launcher in multiple injections of space cargo in low altitudes, as well as evaluate new designs and the reliability of indigenous technologies in space. Kihan-2 and Hadaf-1 nanosatellites were also designed and developed for launch by Iran Electronics Industries, a state-owned subsidiary of the Defense Ministry. Both are cubic nanosatellites weighing less than 10 kilograms. Kihan-2 is developed for space-based positioning. It has status determination and control subsystems to aim stably and precisely towards the Earth. Hadaf-1 seeks proving the use of narrowband communication technology in the Internet of Things IoT. Despite sanctions imposed by Western countries in recent years, Iran has managed to take giant strides in the civilian space program. It is among the world's top 10 countries capable of developing and launching satellites.
Last week, the Aerospace Force of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, launched Soraya satellite into orbit using Keem 100 satellite carrier. Iran's telecoms minister Issa Zarapur said that for the first time, Simurgh simultaneously put Mata satellite and two other research payloads into orbit, adding that Mata's signal was received. I congratulate this important achievement to the beloved people and space experts, especially my colleagues at the Iranian Space Research Center and the Defense Ministry he noted. Last few days, the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps IRGC, successfully launched its Soraya satellite into a 750-kilometer orbit on Saturday morning. The launch marks a significant milestone for Iran's aerospace capabilities and further demonstrates its growing ambitions in space technology.